now, Fox 13 meteorologist Valerie Mills with your Sky Tower radar forecast. Well, our dog walking weather a little bit damp for at least the start of today. By this evening, certainly will be a not lot nicer. If you're hoping to head out, maybe do a little walking on the beach, we are going to clear out all of this rain by then. But Sky Tower radar quite active this morning. We've generally just been dealing with some light showers, but a line of some heavier rain kind of picking up just for areas across South Tampa. Right now where we see those yellow colors, that's where some slightly heavier rainfall rates. Still nothing too intense out there, but right along I-4 from Mango to Plant City up into Lakeland, those are some of the spots where we're dealing with some slightly heavier rain, just some spotty showers from Lutz, Carrollwood, and as for areas just to the south of Tampa near Apollo Beach, Boyette, kind of just some spotty showers for there as well. Our inland areas around Polk County, they've already dealt with some slightly heavier batches of rain from Haines City through Polk City, but some of our southern areas, they're kind of getting a break from some of that rain right now near Fort Meade. Our southern counties as well. We'll just kind of continue to see this steady rain through the morning hours. Some breaks at times from the rain as we kind of will get a couple of lines with some clearing in between. But by this afternoon and this evening, things are going to start to break up really all across the area. So as we take a look at the big picture here, area of low pressure sitting out across the Gulf of Mexico. So that's going to skirt off to the east. And then behind that, we're going to have a cold front drop in across northern parts of the state. And that's really going to usher in drier, cooler air starting today. Yesterday was our last day in the 70s. We're really not tracking an afternoon in the 70s for several afternoons. So temperatures this morning, mid 50s all around the area. And as we look at your planner, we're pretty much staying in the 50s through most of the morning. And then by the afternoon, temperature is going to reach for the low and mid 60s all around the area. So cooler than average and with not a whole lot of sunshine, it is certainly going to be feeling chilly out there. The good news is breeze is pretty light today, mostly about five to eight miles per hour. So not going to be dealing with a whole lot of wind out there. And I think by this evening, some peaks of sunshine will be possible. But as we look at water vapor, that's where we look at the moisture in the atmosphere. You can see this kind of little brown color pushing into parts of the western panhandle. That's that drier air up higher in the atmosphere, and that's going to filter down to the south. So by tomorrow, and especially by the weekend, we'll be dealing with much less humidity around the area. Humidity levels have been a little bit up the last couple of days. Today, still a little high with that rain moving through. Then look at New Year's Eve, though. We are tracking dew points dipping down to the 40s all around the area. So once this front moves through, temperatures tomorrow morning going to be even chillier. We are talking 40s. That's going Going to continue on our Saturday morning. So tomorrow and Saturday, coldest days will start out in the 40s and afternoon temperatures on your Saturday. Check them out. Upper 50s around Crystal River, low 60s for Newport Ritchie, Tampa, mid 60s for our inland areas. So it is certainly going to be a chilly weekend here around the area. The good news is the sun comes back out, especially on Sunday, looking like it's going to be bright and beautiful as we reach for a high of 65 to end the weekend. All right.